Morgan and Maddie will each generate a random sample of the 138 students in seventh grade at their school. They each write the numbers from 1 to 138 on small pieces of paper and put them in different hats. Next, they draw numbers randomly from their hats. Here are the numbers that Morgan drew. And here are the numbers that Maddie drew. What do you notice about the two random samples taken from the same population? What does this tell you about the sampling technique? Here are some observations of the samples. There are 20 members in each sample. The only common numbers to both samples are 38 and 106. And the numbers are distributed differently in each sample. The distribution of data can be shown by a histogram. A histogram is a graphical display of data that is grouped into ranges. What does the histogram show about Morgan's sample? The histogram shows an uneven distribution. Morgan shows more numbers between 81 and 100 than in any other range. He chose only one number in the range of 61 to 80 and in the range of 121 to 140. How do the histograms help you compare the two samples? The histograms show that the data is distributed unevenly, but differently in each sample. Every range is represented with at least one value, and at most, six values in a sample. We can conclude that the sampling method produces random samples that have mostly different members, but that are each likely to be representative of the population.